Welcome to my mini-series called Life in the Grid. Within the third dimensional matrix grid of reality, which is really a realm that each individual has agreed to drop down into from their soul essence in order to experience greater states of growth through the third dimensional matrix grid experience. Life within the grid is greatly restricted. It is a space where the individuals are programmed and conditioned into only thinking, speaking, and behaving in ways which were ingrained into them and through indoctrination by the medical systems, educational systems, financial systems, and the political and religious systems. Our indoctrination begins the moment that we come out of the womb through the clamping off of our very own attachment through the cord of creation. Attached to a placenta, ripe and spry with powerful healing energy through cord blood stem cells, which contain the full capacity of the human immune system, which is meant to help the infant make the transition from the womb and into the earth school experience in more robust and healthy ways. Through the mainstream medical model of healthcare, the infants born in medical institutions are cut off from this cord supply before receiving all the benefits from those very nutrient rich immune boosting stem cells. And then the infants are subsequently injected with concoctions containing high levels of metals and other substances which are meant to keep this individual from being able to remember who they are. As we are born knowing who and what we are and why we came here, it is innately embedded into our cellular memory, enabling us to access a more peaceful existence within this realm. These children receive multiple injections over the course of their very formative and early childhood years in an effort to keep that innate cellular remembrance from permeating their space of awareness. And then we begin to allow our children to be indoctrinated further to the indoctrination of the edu educational system, programming and conditioning these young children into the learning of societal rules that have been established by the governing entities providing an illusion that all the entities established came through the ideas of the people and teaching during these formative years where the imagination is coming into full force within our own children and into the suppression of their own states of imagination and into the forgetting of who they are through integration and through installation of compliance of their first learnings and plugging them into the rule of order established by the governing entities, which are created through the use of black magic and through dark energy, which are meant to control the masses of a global society where the masses have no idea that their mind has been altered in a way to make them compliant with their own programmed and conditioned states of slavery to these governing entities. The medical and educational models, the pharmaceutical industry are also intricately intertwined with our financial systems, leading to this idea and belief that these paper forms and coins have some sort of innate value for the exchange of our own life force energy and convincing us to put all our energy into things so that we may receive more through a perceived awareness of material wealth. Banks and other financial institutions really thrive off of these ideas of lending you money that doesn't actually contain value in the first place and where these financial institutions aren't actually loaning you money, 
Nothing of value is ever exchanged through the hands. It's simply smoke screens and mirrors through the illusion of contracts and agreements that the collective masses choose to make with these financial institutions, keeping them alive and well. And where from the fifth dimensional divine matrix and from the perspective of greater universal law, a soul essence has the free will and power to break soul contracts if they want to. And where from greater states of awareness, one understands that the microcosm and the macrocosm are always reflecting one another, meaning that our free will to be able to break contracts also resonates down through space and time and into the lower ethereal grids and into this plane of reality where we can choose to break paper contracts that the rule of law and order was not actually written by the people or for the people, but rather were written in order to control the people. Within this financial system, we are taught that where we borrow this perceptual idea of money so that we can purchase things like homes and vehicles and where the cost to produce these items is finite and representative of the fair market labor and materials put into these things utilized for the creation of these items like cars and homes. Yet within the third dimensional matrix grid construct, the individuals are very much programmed and conditioned to believe that the role of the financial institutions carry inherently more worth than the items that we purchase convincing us to pay loads and loads of interest, creating greater states of wealth within these institutions. But alas, that wealth only permeates the upper echelon of these institutions. And where at the lower echelons, individuals being utilized for their own slave labor within these very institutions are not even paid what can be considered a living wage requiring these individuals who work within the system of wealth to have to plug into the system of governance for additional assistance in order to make ends meet through an idea that has been programmed into our minds. Within the third dimensional matrix grid, the political systems and the religious institutions are one in the same and they are a pivotal platform for these governing entities that have created these systems from the use of dark energy in order to pull you and suck you in down into these ideas that are all created around separation and division and which are all used to keep you from accessing perspectives from higher states of being where you are able to see through the facade, where you can see through the illusion within the third dimensional matrix grid reality. Individuals who are deeply ingrained into the facade of separation and division are unable to tap into the true essence of who they are, needing to constantly look for sources of energy and power through external avenues, things that occur outside of the self, creating a widening gap between their experience of life from a conditioned and programmed point of view and between the divine matrix grid, where we are divine sparks of God source consciousness experiencing a journey on a plane of creative reality culminated of great beauty and wonder, which we are meant to experience and explore and grow more peace within as we shape and begin to build a brand new global society centered around the heart and around global healing. My name is Misty Dawn. I am a creative, intuitive, and indigenous energy healer.
and I hope this message helps. If this type of content resonates with you, please join me as we navigate creation consciousness and building anew within these new earth energies. Sending you many blessings and perfect love.